and welcome to the eFresh.com Fish and Seafood News. Today is the 2nd of December. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. Greater restrictions, breach of faith. Call for ban on fishing, launching eels. Reduction in tuna quota, huge blow. UK share anti-piracy information. Shops should do more for fish stocks. A decision by the European Union to extend emergency fishing restrictions on the West Coast was a significant breach of faith, according to Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond. Fishery Secretary Richard Lockhead signed up temporary catch restrictions as an alternative to closing fishing grounds last year. But the European Commission decided to extend the rules affecting the white fish fleet to a further 18 months, however prompting fears for fishing jobs in fragile coastal communities. Mr. Salmon said that the fishery secretary was working with the industry on the basis these measures would have expired next month. He called the extension of what were supposed to be emergency measures both bitterly disappointing and a significant breach of faith by the European Commission. There should be a halt to commercial catching of the threatened longfin eel, says a group concerned about the species' future. A coalition of environmental groups, Maori groups and Macy University researchers are gathering signatures for a petition asking for a moratorium on commercial harvesting of the eel. The eel had the same risk classification as a great spotted kiwi, but could still be caught by commercial fishers under the quota management system. Macy University freshwater ecologist and senior lecturer Dr. Mike Joy said the earnings from the eel's export industry were negligible to the economy and were not worth the damage. The eels are already struggling because of a decline in water quality. Maltese fishermen consider the reduction in Malta's tuna fishing quota as a huge blow and expect that fishing for bluefin tuna may have to stop as early as the end of next May, shortly after the season opens. Although the Maltese fishing fleet's contribution to the overall depletion of bluefin tuna is hardly significant, the tuna fishing trade contributes about 100 million euros to the Maltese economy annually. But Maltese fishermen still believe that their bluefin tuna catches are just a drop in the ocean, compared to those of other, other Mediterranean fishing fleets. Malta's bluefin tuna fishing quota was 262 tons this year and has been reduced further to 170 tons for next year. This year, Maltese fishermen reached their quota very early on in the season. A Japanese cooperative of open sea tuna fishermen will soon begin sharing information with a British intelligence unit to help fight piracy in the waters off Somalia. Under mediation by the Foreign Ministry, the UK Maritime Trade Operations and Japan Tuna, they agreed last month on a plan to share information. Japan Tuna will establish a system that automatically transmits at least once a day the location of fishing boats that have entered zones being monitored by the Allied forces. Japanese fishermen have been avoiding the waters off Somalia and have operated in southern seas since 2007 when there was a surge in pirate attacks off Somalia. Recently, however, pirates have been active over these wider areas. UK supermarkets could do more to help stop dwindling fish stocks by supplying customers with sustainably sourced seafood, according to the Marine Conservation Society. The results of its Sustainable Seafood Supermarket Survey, handed out to all major supermarkets, showed that while eight supermarket chains have improved their policies on sourcing sustainable fish, a further seven failed to respond. MCS is recommending that retailers should refuse to, to use North Sea Cod, placed from the Western Channel, swordfish and ling. Ali Dingwall, Sainsbury's aquaculture and fisheries manager, claimed the survey shows that it is the best of the major supermarkets when it comes to responsible sourcing of fish. A weight rose spokesperson adds that 100% of its fish is fully sustainable. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Fish and Seafood News. See you next time.